When I started Rich Social Worker, I had just borrowed like 10,000 US dollars from the bank, most of which I promptly lost in an investment that I thought was really good, but was terrible. And yet and still, I decided to start a brand that talked about money and mindset to help you live your richest life through all of that. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my strategies and tactics for overcoming imposter syndrome, feeling like a failure, feeling like a fraud, so that you can get rid of any excuses that you might have to starting or building your business as well. So if you're excited about this video, click the like button and let's go. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Eva Ford, social worker, mindset mentor, and coach. And what I usually say is that on this channel, I talk about all things money, mindset, and motivation to help you live your richest life. And the reason I say that is because for such a long time, I was not doing those things, but I really had this passion and this drive to do that for myself and then to also empower other people to be able to do that. And so that's become a theme of not only my life, but absolutely of this channel. And the thing that I knew would have sabotaged any efforts that I was trying to make to be able to live my richest life and therefore impact others would be if I didn't believe in myself or if I allowed this feeling of feeling like a fraud to impede any of my progress. And so being able to recognize when this imposter syndrome comes up for me has been something really crucial to my success and my continued growth. Because here's the thing, you and I both have so much potential. Potential is not even the word. I feel like that's, that's too limited of a word. We are limitless in what we can dream, be, do, or have. I say that on the, all the time on this channel. However, the thing that threatens you and I in growing or building our businesses or ourselves is how we think, how we feel, especially if we don't feel worthy, if we don't feel like we have value to give, or if we maybe think we have value, but we feel like we're not allowed to play in the same space until we get to a certain point. So it's really important that we recognize this imposter syndrome that comes up and that we have some strategies, have some tactics to move through them so that they don't get in our way. Now, like I said, for me, I was in Jamaica. I had been there about three years and I applied for a $10,000 loan at the time. I was approved and I spent about $3,000 and the rest of the money I put into an investment, what I thought was a really good investment. Turns out I saw none of that money again and I still had to pay back the bank. So, ouch, yeah, that was a really painful lesson. And yet, had I not made that mistake, I probably wouldn't be talking to you now because that is the financial decision that propelled me to learn more. And so when I recognized that, oh shoot, I've lost all this money, it's not coming back, the first thing that I did was I pulled on my social work superpowers, as it were. And I'm, I kid you not, this is a conversation that I had in my head. Eva, you're a social worker. That means you can do anything. You can figure out any problem. You are skilled in problem solving. What is your next best Step. So having that conversation with myself was extremely empowering because again, you know, if you're a social worker, I know not everyone who watches this channel is a social worker, but if you're a social worker, you know what I'm talking about. They pump you full of motivation and encouragement and inspiration when you're in school about how you can do anything, how you can empower people, how you can help others and change the world. And so having that internal dialogue with myself, reminding myself that, hey, I'm a social worker, I've got the skills, I've got the knowledge to figure things out, I can do this was extremely powerful for me. And so that's something I want to remind you of, whether you're a social worker or not, that you have the power, you can figure this out. 
other people, likely with less intelligence than you, have been able to figure it out, you can absolutely do it too. Now, the second thing that I did after I had that internal conversation was, okay, so now what do I need to do? In the problem solving mode now, right? And what came up for me was educate myself. And so I decided that I was going to read as many books as I could. I was going to talk to as many people as I needed to. I was going to watch videos. I was just going to consume as much knowledge as I needed to. And I made a commitment to myself that I would learn what I needed to learn so that I wouldn't continue to make these financial mistakes and so that I could help other people. And I feel so great that I'm actually doing what I said I was gonna do. So I'm doing that now. And I've already talked to you on the channel about how one of the first books I picked up was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But I also picked up some other classics. I picked up Think and Grow Rich, which was really pivotal. I'm gonna tell you about that more in this conversation. And I picked up like The Richest Man in Babylon. And I also picked up The Science of Getting Rich and several others. So educating myself and deciding that education to fill the knowledge gaps was what I needed was the next right move that I made in making sure that I was able to combat this imposter syndrome, think and grow rich. The reason why that was so pivotal, pivotal, and this is a third thing, was because in that book, there are tons of examples of people, ordinary people, just like you and I, who were in my same position, and that was a position of either not having money or not having knowledge or not having skills. People seeing their transformation uh, going from lack to abundance, gave me the courage to know that I could do that too. And so that's another strategy that I use is to learn from the examples of people who had gone before me and recognize that this is just part of my story. I had made that commitment to myself that I was going to fill my knowledge gaps and that I was going to learn as much as I could learn as long as I had breath in my body. And so the lesson for you is to find people that you can emulate or find role models for yourself. They've overcome some obstacle because what that will do is remind you that you can do it too. And anytime you feel like, oh, maybe you're an imposter or maybe this isn't for you or maybe you're never gonna get it, I want you to look back at the examples of people that you've chosen as your role models and see yourself as their equal, just maybe a few steps behind. But if you commit to continuing your education, continuing to learn, continuing to grow, you will get there. But this is part of your path. This is part of your story. And you're not gonna have a great story unless you can go through this. So you're not an imposter at all. You need this time, you need these experiences in order to authenticate your story. So. I took that for myself and I want you to take the same thing for you. Another thing that I did that was really very pivotal for me was I actually physically sat down, got a sheet of paper, got a pen, and I wrote down all of the people that I knew were cheering for me. I wrote down the names of my brothers. I wrote down the names of my parents. I wrote down the names of my deceased family members who I knew adored me and believed in me and just wanted the best for me. I wrote down the names of my godparents. I wrote down the names of my friends. I wrote down the names of people who had known my mother. My mother passed when I was younger people who had known my mother and over the years had sent me messages and said, oh, your mom would be so proud of you and I am I believe in you, I'm rooting for you, please keep me up to date. Like I wrote down names of people that I wanted to be accountable to. I did not know I was gonna cry, but I'm gonna keep this on camera. Because the point of the matter is, you owe it to yourself, but you also owe it to a lot of people who love you and who believe in you to stay the course. If you've been given a dream, if you've been given a mission, something that you're passionate about, passionate about 
or something that you believe in. You owe it to yourself to see that through. Just go for it. Hopefully, this can be a powerful tool for you too to sit down and write out the names of people who are rooting for you. People who you know believe in you and are looking for great things from you just by your existence. Write down your own name and see yourself in the future as being one of those people who's so proud of yourself. I did not expect that at all. Which brings us to the next point, which is what I did for myself and what I really recommend that you do for yourself is to have a clear vision for yourself. See yourself how you want to see yourself in the future. Make that crystal clear. Have that vision in your mind of walking on that stage and receiving that award. Whatever that thing is, you want to have a clear vision in your head of what you're aiming for or how you want to see yourself in the future. And so when I am overcoming imposter syndrome, because it comes up from time to time, I will remember myself in the future. And that vision propels me to keep going. And that's something that no one else can give you. You've got to be able to see it for yourself. Now, practically, some of the things that I have done is I have reached out to really good friends and they're usually pretty good sources of inspiration and motivation and helping me to get out of my head and reminding me of my awesomeness. And so hopefully you've got some great people in your life that you can reach out to as well, who can help you when you're not feeling so sure about yourself. And I've also joined several groups on Facebook and, and um, I was going to say Instagram, no, LinkedIn and even outside meetup groups. And primarily these are also people who are entrepreneurial. And so they're going through the same thing I'm going through. And so we can talk and exchange notes on how to grow through these challenges like imposter syndrome, like feeling like a failure, like feeling like you're not sure and keep encouraging one another and keep supporting one another on our entrepreneurial journeys. Now, these are the strategies that I implement on a regular basis. Even though I'm usually pretty good about keeping up momentum and just getting the work done, sometimes that imposter syndrome sneaks up on me and it's a little hard to shake. So I make sure that I have all of these strategies at my beck and call. And the lesson I really want you to take away from this is that it's impossible for you to be an imposter if you're showing up. Just like I'm doing for you on this video and every week on this channel. It's impossible. If you are learning, if you're growing, if you're committed to yourself, then you cannot not be successful. Might not be today, but this is part of your journey. This is part of your story and it's all good. So keep going. You're here for a reason. Now, one way you can show up is show up in the comments and let everybody know what you are going to do or what you're already doing to make sure imposter syndrome does not get the best of you. You can also show up in my mastermind or in private coaching. So if you're interested in more support for yourself and for your business, send me a message. Let's connect. I would be so happy to help you. I absolutely believe you can dream, be, do, or have anything you want, but it starts with your mindset. So make sure it's a rich one. Like, subscribe, comment, share all the things. I'll see you on the next one.